All right, so now for the um, clean guitar that's played under the uh, first section of the main solo. Um, it's an overdub because it's not the part that Izzy plays, so it's probably a, a slash overdub. Um, but we'll look it into it anyway, of course. One, two, three, four. <laughs> All right, so what do you play? You play E minor chord, and it's all eighth notes, so you play E, A, D, and then E, B, G, D, G, like this. And then it's down, 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 up, 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 down, up. Then you do the sort of the same on the C chord, so you play A, D, G, E, B, G, D, G like this, three, four. Then you do the exact same picking pattern on the B7, three, four. And then we get a small variation on the A minor chord, which goes like this, three, four. So the first part is the same, so you play A, D, G, E, B, G, and then you play a descending bass line. Um, I play with my pinky on third of the low E to middle finger, second of the low E, and that leads you right back to that E minor. So like this, three, four, down, 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 up, 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 down, up. So those four bars, three, four. The second time you play it, everything is the same except for that A minor part. And instead of playing uh, that A minor for one bar and then uh, picking it like that, the distortion comes in and you palm mute it, all those eighth notes. So it's like this, three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four, and like that. And you sort of intensify over those two bars. So the second time you played, it, it goes like this, three, four. And then we land into section number two. Uh, let me play it for you first, and then we'll get into how to play that on the guitar. So let's go. Three, four. So what do you play? You play the same chords, only slightly different. So you start with that E minor, and you strum first the three bass strings, and then the three treble strings with an upstroke, like this. Three, four, one, two, three, three four. Then you play that uh, C chord, and there you do the same rhythm. Three, four. And there I strum on the downstroke, uh, a, D, and G, and when the upstroke, I strum uh, B, G, and D. Three, four, one, two, three, three, four. Do the same on the B. Then I play A minor, and I got the same strums with that at the end, I have the descending bass line again, so that goes like this. Three, four. And that leads us back into that uh, E minor section. Let's try that together. Three, four. Repeat. And 
that A section here is the same as the way Slash played it at the end of his uh, clean chord section, so to speak. So now we are moving on to uh, the chords that are under the main solo section number two. And let me play it for you first, and then we'll get into how to play that on the guitar. What's played here is pretty much the same for the overdub and for Izzy's part. So here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So what do you play? You start off with that E minor and the rhythm, the strumming rhythm is the same as in section one, but at the end of the bar you have an ascending bass line going from open E to second position on that E. And that leads into the G on the next, uh, in the next bar. So like this, one, two, three, four. Then here on that G chord, you play um, uh, down, up, up, down, up. The downstrokes just you just play the bass note. The upstrokes are playing uh, the B, G, and D string, like this: three, four. Then we go to the A minor with a downstroke on the bass, and then you play an upstroke on B, G, and D. Like this, three, four. Then you play the chord twice with a down upstroke. And then you play the C chord. And you do down, down, down. Then you play the D once, and then you play third position on the low E. So starting on that A chord, three, four, down, up, down, 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 down. And now that entire section, one, two, three, four.